Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 5 assignment of the course database management system. So guys, for the past 5 weeks, 5 years, we have been providing various NPTEL uh, solutions for various courses, including database management system as well. So we have been consistently giving accurate solutions guys. With that confidence, we are giving these solutions. So, but these are completely our probable solutions guys. If there are any changes that come to our notice, definitely we will update that in the comment section. So once again, check the comment section if any update available from our end, right? And if you want to suggest us any other solutions, you can please do that in the same comment section itself, guys. Do watch the video till the end. Don't skip the video, guys. You may miss some content if you do so. So don't skip the video and watch full video, guys. First question, which of the following can be so, uh, solutions of password leakage in database servers? So guys, uh, for the first question, we have got two probable solutions. The first one is option A, storing encrypted passwords in database and its scripts. And the other one is option D, guys, two factor authentication. So, mark A and D as the probable solutions for first question. Now, let's move on to the second one. Guys, definitely subscribe our channel and click the bell icon for more updates. And this is the most important thing, guys. Please like the video. Then only our videos will reach other students who are in need like you. So that they will also get benefited like you. Please support this cause. And please share this with your friends and classmates as well, guys. So that they will also get to know about the solutions, right? Second one. Which of the following statements is or are incorrect? So for second question, option B and option c these two are the incorrect statements right so mark b and c as the probable solutions for second question now let's move on to the third one so for the third question dense index option c dense index is the probable solution guys next fourth one A magnetic disk has 16 platter surfaces, 256 tracks per surface, 512 sectors per track and 1024 bytes per sector. How many number of bits will be required to address a sector? So for fourth question, option B, 21 is the probable solution guys. So mark 21 as the probable solution for fourth question. Next, fifth one. Before getting into this fifth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So these are the past NPTEL assignment MCQs guys. For many questions, there are explanations also provided. For You are getting a huge number of 320 MCQs. 320 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. For one person, it is 300 rupees only guys. If you take it along with your friends or classmates, you can get it for 500 rupees only. So for two to five persons, combinedly 500 rupees only guys, everyone will get the PDF in that group. So one person from your group mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com. So don't forget to purchase this pack guys. So you'll get a huge number of 320 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. The validity will be till the exam results day. Such option is also provided. It is easy to revise MCQs, guys. High syllabus will be covered within less time. So, for even if you are one person, no need to worry. You can take it for 300 rupees. For two to five persons, combinedly 500 rupees. So, please ask your friends, share them this news, and ask them to join them in your group. One person from your group mail me to this email ID. Already many students have taken our pack in the past and got better preparation ahead of the final exam. So, do take it now itself, guys, so that you can get more time to prepare at the end. And there is another pack, YouTube membership pack. It is just a sample pack of 100 plus MCQs only. For one person, it is 89 rupees only, guys. And only for one month, not per, uh, not exam till the exam results day. And it is only available in video format, not PDF like 300 MC, 320 MCQs. If you want this YouTube membership sample pack, just go to our YouTube channel, S Kumar Edu. This is our YouTube channel, guys, S Kumar Edu. Beside the subscribe button, there is a join button, right? So click on this join button. Then a small window will open like this. Select the second one, videos only for members, 18 per month pack. And again, click on this blue color join button and make payment directly to YouTube. 
that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos here you can see we have uploaded many members only videos and for database management system also we have uploaded the videos you can get all these subject videos for the single 89 rupees only per month guys but my suggestion is if you are preparing in a final exam point of view it's better to take this 320 mcq spec for one person it is 300 for two to five persons combinedly 500 mail me to this email id guys bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so fifth question availability of redundant errors of independent disk systems is 97 percent mtbf is 36 days what is the approximate mean time to repair mttr of the system so for fifth question option b 26.72 is the probable solution guys guys these are completely our probable solutions if you want to suggest us any change of the solution you can please do that in the comment section so we will try to discuss guys but these are our probable solutions so sixth question the result of each group will be maintained separately which of the following statements are correct so for sixth question we have got we have got two probable solutions the first one is option b and the other one is option d guys so mark b and d respectively next seventh one the size of the flash memory is 64 gb what will be the size of the flash transact translation table so for seventh question option a 64 mb is the probable solution guys next eighth one consider the following string of reference so these are the uh, values guys find the number of replacements so for eighth question option b 10 is the probable solution guys so mark option b as the probable solution for 10th question guys please share this with your friends and classmates and do like the video guys then only it will be reached reached other students as well right and do purchase our 320 mcqs pack so mac ninth one maximum how many records can be stored in one block so for ninth question option c 10 is the probable solution guys and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one identify the correct statements about the following rate levels so for 10th and final question we have got two probable solutions the first one is option b and the other one is option c so friends these are the probable solutions for week 5 assignment of the course database management system so hope this video helpful for you guys if you feel the same definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 320 mcqs google drive pack these are restricted it is a restricted link pack guys so for one person it is 300 rupees only if you take it for two to five persons combinedly it will be 500 per group guys this is the mail id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com if you want just youtube sample pack you can join our youtube membership for 89 rupees only so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this forever so until the next video goodbye thank you